Coming up, how to make teriyaki chicken in your pressure cooker. Oh, and it is healthy. Don't go anywhere. So first we're gonna put in our chicken. I'm gonna be using frozen chicken. Frozen chicken for our chicken teriyaki. Just to show you that you don't need to have chicken that's thawed out. You can use frozen chicken, see? Frozen. You hear that, how hard that is? Definitely. Oh, 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 got it. Put that in there. We're gonna add a half of cup of light soy sauce. Or oh, excuse me, soy sauce, low sodium. Oh, I got a new container. Thanks, hon, I appreciate it. Put some raw honey. Vinegar. We're gonna put our honey in there. Missed up some honey. Honey. Missed up some garlic. We're gonna put our garlic in there. Black pepper. Okay, we're gonna put our lid on the pressure cooker. So you've noticed today I'm using the Symphonio pressure cooker instead of the Instapot because I wanted to give it some more mileage. You know, it's actually quite easy to use, quite simple. So if this is the pressure cooker you're using, you're in luck. All right, so we're gonna put this on for 30 minutes. We're gonna turn her on. We're gonna switch it to poultry. Select poultry. We're gonna take it to 30 minutes. Hit the button. Make sure this it is sealed. And now we let it do its job. Looks like our chicken is done. Going to release the steam. So it has been naturally releasing for a few minutes. We're going to release the rest of that pressure off. All right. We're going to take the chicken out so we can cut her up. Make sure if you've used this, these tongs to put the raw chicken in, make sure you wash it or get a new pair of tongs. And honestly, make sure that you clean it, excuse me, make sure you cut it on a clean cutting board. We're gonna put this on saute. We hit cancel. And then we're gonna go on over to saute. And it works the same if you have an instant pot. You just put on the same settings. But I did forget to tell you to put the instant pot on manual, then switch it to 30. Or you can put it on meat. As long as it's 30 minutes, it doesn't matter. Arrowroot flour or arrowroot starch. I'm going to put that in there. So you can actually mix this in cold water if you'd like, if you find it mixes better that way, which when you're using normal flour, 
it mixes better in cold water when you put it into your liquid. So you can do that. And mix this up. Actually, I would recommend that you put it in cold water so it mixes very well. So that's heating up, it's doing this thing. We're gonna add our frozen veggies. Any kind of frozen veggies will work. Gonna add them to the recipe the written recipe down in the bottom description that way you have it sometimes I like to double the recipe or not double it but if you want to double it feel free to double it if you don't want to double it don't double it it's your recipe so I'm actually gonna just throw the top back on it for a little bit We'll leave it there for a couple minutes. Let it do its thing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut our chicken. It has time to rest for a little bit, so we're gonna cut it so we can add it back to the recipe or to the uh, pressure cooker. It's actually really juicy. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if you can see that or not. Juicy. All right, we got the chicken all nice and cut up. Gonna take our spoon and mix this up. Now you may find that you need to add a little bit more liquid to it, and that's perfectly all right. You start with a half a cup of water or so, just a little bit of water. Put it in the bottom of that. Just so you don't scorch the bottom of your instant pot or pressure cooker. And after a little bit of time, your veggies should have softened up, thawed out, warmed up, heated up, tenderized, whatever you want to call it. If you're not sure, you take a piece. It tastes good. We're gonna let it sit a little bit longer in this heat. To have them all thaw out quite a bit. Let me make sure it's still on saute. It is. You don't have to put the lid back on it. Just let it sit around in there. Let it heat up. But while it's doing that, we'll go ahead and add back in my chicken. You like the way I said chicken? So we got all the chicken put in. We're gonna go ahead and take it off saute. Let it do its thing, let it heat up. The frozen veggies are heated up now. I made some brown rice, which I always recommend brown rice because it's a lot healthier for you. Then, you know, the white rice, but it's your decision. But that's what it looks like. Let's taste it, see what it tastes like. Take a little bit of that brown rice, a little bit of the veggie. The beauty of it is, mm, the veggie still has some texture to it. So I like it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment which you like best about the recipe. And if you would like to suggest the recipe, feel free to <laughs>